Hi everyone! Before we get started in this video, I wanted to update you on something new that is happening with my channel. So the new thing that's happening is I will be posting every Thursday, every week. So that will be the day my videos will go up every week. So it won't be any other day. Because in the past, other videos I have on my YouTube channel, I've posted randomly and I didn't really have an, a certain day. So now I will. So I will be posting every Thursday, every week. So yeah. And the next thing is, oh, just a reminder, this is a fall Thanksgiving decor idea, and I know that it is the end of fall, and I still want to show you this because I think it's a great idea, and uh, it'll be a great option next year. So that's just a little warning that it's um, fall decor in this video. I just didn't get to post it early enough. But I still am, and um, the next upcoming videos are going to be Christmas theme, and I love doing Christmas themed videos, and yeah, and that's it. So now we can get started on the craft in this video, and I hope you enjoy. See you later. Hey everyone, and welcome to Cassidy's Craft Corner. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to decorate your home for the autumn season. So this is very simple and I also, before we start, I wanted to say that I actually have not been posting a lot of videos lately. I've been very busy so I'm going to get right on posting more soon. So um, the first thing I did was get my paper mache bowl which I made. Um, Actually, I made this a few months ago, and I didn't know what to do with it. And then I thought of this for the autumn season, so I decided to show you. But you can also buy a bowl at um, a craft store or anything, really, and do it. You don't have to do it with paper mache, but I had a paper mache bowl already to be painted and everything, so I decided to do that. So I painted my bowl white first with Liquidex Basics and the name of the paint is Titanium White. So I painted that so it's a nice base coat so that when I put the actual color on it'll give it a more opaque color. And then um, I did a couple coats of white and then I painted it um, brown and gold which you can get... Um, acrylic paints very cheap at your local craft store and then I got on to decorating so I have these wonderful leaves that I have here and I got them I actually got them from a friend so I don't know where my friend got got them but I am sure you can get it at your local craft store because I've seen them everywhere so you can get them there I also added some greenery down there because you always see some trees with green on them because they're turning a little late so it's always nice to see that too so I put some green in there too and the way I put them in there I didn't use glue I used a foam rectangle I bent it and put it in the bowl and then I just stuck holes in the foam and stuck the leaves in there so that was a very simple okay so the next thing is um, the glitter so glitter is very fun to use but also it's sometimes a pain to use I used um, scotch tacky glue and I decided to go a little crazy and I put globs of it on and smoothen it out with my fingers and I used four different glitters this one is called carnelian it's a red color so you, you can use a red color this one is smoky quartz so it's kind of like a smoky gold color this one is called fire opal which is a nice bright orange color and this one is called copper which is another gold color so I sprinkled them on 
and I basically had fun with it. So I decided to add some glue on the leaves also so I can add some pop of color on them as well. So you see down there there's some glitter and some of it is still drying so you still see white here and there but yeah. So that's actually it. Oh, and I also used scissors for cutting the leaves because most of them were all together in a bunch and I decided to spread them out and cut them. So I use my favorite scissors and they are Fiskars and yeah, they're non-stick scissors. Yep. So that's it basically and um, I hope you enjoyed Again, this is very, very simple. Like, I it took me not too long to do it. The only um, really long part was painting the whole bowl. But other than that, it was a very fun to do. And I definitely recommend painting it a couple coats of white because it'll add some pop of color when you put the actual colors you want on there. I also recommend using nice fall colors and not... Um, bright colors and I don't usually say that because I love using bright colors but for fall it's nice and warm colors so I use brown and gold for the bowl and nice fall color nice fall leaves foliage for the inside so thank you so much for watching again I will be making sure to be posting more videos because I have stopped for a couple weeks and yeah, so I am going to get on that, and that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see my videos, and I'll see you later.